professor, I would test you in the worst way. Don't bring a scantron, it's pop quizzes all day. Cause of our chemistry, we do biology. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. Practice your travel. Practice travel in your region. Uh, shout out to L. Anderson, man. We talked about this weeks ago. When the passport bros thing was going off. And I was like, you know, maybe we need to tell, you know, we need to have a conversation with, brother, a conversation with brothers who travel. So they could, you know, if they want to do it, they ain't got to jump head first into it, get your feet wet, like, um, and what I meant by that is this, say, if you're on the West Coast, right, if you're on the West Coast, it might be easier and cheaper for you to travel to, say, Cabo or Puerto Vallarta, right, Hawaii, you know what I'm saying, because you're already over there, you know, Japan and Asia, you know, depending on the direction you want to go, if you're in the Midwest, you know, and depending on what part of the, the, the West you are, if you know it, it might be easier for you to go to some place like Vancouver, you know, get, get, to get a look at stuff. You, you get what I'm saying? Um, but like I said, if you're in the Midwest, you want to go somewhere for the summertime and have a good time, it might be better for you to go to Toronto. Like Midwest, like it's not even just the Midwest. I would say from Minnesota you know, all the way to, to Maine, like, like, cause Toronto's right near Buffalo, if I'm not mistaken. I think I, it's, not, it's not too far from Buffalo. So, you know, people from Buffalo kicking, everybody has a good, a good thing to say about Toronto. So catch it in the summertime. It's probably cheap to go, blah, blah, blah. It's, it, it's a very mixed environment from my understanding. So you can have a ball and, and get your feet wet and traveling. Uh, if you're in a, in the south, you know, you can go from the Caribbean to the Cancun, to Cancun, or you know, if it, or if you're trying to get, you know, if you're trying to get a certain vibe, a certain culture, sometimes you can travel in the states at certain places at certain times, or, or you can travel abroad. And, and what I mean by that is, say, um. Now some of y'all are travel to Coachella. It's like a mixed. It's like a mixed bag, right? You know they have a bunch of different festivals here, like in America. So you could travel there, get it, give it a shot, um, and, and, and meet all these people from all these different places. And sometimes y'all need a, you know, like saying, uh, like people in the South, you go to New York. Well, don't go to New York. Go to D.C. Because that's a, that's a great vibe in D.C. You get what I'm saying? Go to the DMV area. If you're in the South. Um, if you go out West, you go to Vegas. Um, if you want to go to L.A., go to L.A. Go to the Bay. But don't forget, like, you know, places like Tucson. You know, it sounds it sound weird, but it's a beautiful place. Um... If you're in the West, you know, don't forget to go to places like Chicago. You know, summertime is great. You know, um, Taste of Chicago is like July, it's July. A week after that, I think I think the, the week after that, it's like the Superfest in, in, in Milwaukee, which is huge, you know. So if you don't can't make it to the Taste, go to the Superfest, you know what I'm saying? Same thing like in February, you could go to Mardi Gras, you know. Uh, New Orleans is, is, is one of those places that have a gang of conventions. Like New Orleans and, and, and Vegas, gang of conventions. So you can always find your way, um, you can always find your way to, um, to get there. You get what I'm saying? You can always find your way to get there. And, and, and not necessarily to choose a spot, but choose a convention. I know <laughs> from some years back, I went to Vegas uh, I shouldn't say this because some of y'all are going to go. But I went to Vegas. I was thinking for Easter weekend. But I forgot Easter weekend that year was 420. So I, I went for 4, I went on 420, basically. And man, it was, poof, it, was a, it was a lot of shenanigans in the air. 
So things like that, you know. Some of you guys, like one, in my opinion, sometimes practice your travel, you know, in your region. Like, for people from the East Coast to the South, from, they can do this easier than people in the Midwest and the West Coast. You can go on the HBCU tour during football or basketball season, have you a great time. Great time. You know what I'm saying? Go go to the colleges. You you gonna have a, a a wonderful time tailgating, kicking it, meeting people. Those are like practice events. Like some of y'all don't have never experienced certain things, so you ain't gotta necessarily go to homecoming. You know, you can go to 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 the classics. And what I mean by the classics, everybody has a classic. You know, heritage classic. Well, you know the Bayou Classic comes on on every year on Thanksgiving Day, but they they got you know Labor Day Classic. Heritage class, they got like 20 something classics, right? So, those are great events that you could do, you know. And, and, and for the most part, it go from Texas all the way to, to DC, basically. You know, Texas to DC. Um, maybe a little further. Might be wrong. To Delaware State. So, Texas to Delaware. Let's just do that. Um, that's a that's a great way to move around, you know. And 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 in those things, you you wind up meeting people. They tell you places to go, because sometimes y'all, you could practice by going these places, and ha you know for a few days or this that and the third, and then you wind up looking for the other places. My dog is tripping, you know. That way, you know, some of y'all go to DR, some of y'all go to Jamaica, then you you practice in your region outside your region, because the other thing is customs, and this is why like when you go out of the country. Like, you got to practice, like, in my opinion, take two bags. That's it. Two bags. Because you don't want to be in customs all day and night. You know, you know, you don't want to go through the conveyor belt and all that. Yeah, some of y'all think it's a good idea. To me, it's not a good idea. You're going to be there all day. You take, you, you're taking trips. You're not, supposed to, you're not supposed to be there for weeks at a time anyway. But if you are, that's on you. But congratulations. But if you're there for four or five days, two bags. Two bags. Practice that when you go in other places, too. Because I'm telling you, you do not want to be waiting for your your luggage and then the customs. That, that's just too much. But I hope I got enough out here so y'all get the point. But like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and tell me what you think. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm gonna tell you.